a water tanker delivers drinking water to this village once a week. But it's rationed, only eight liters per person for seven days. That's meant to cover household needs as well. There are no other sources of water anywhere nearby. The water has disappeared actually suddenly and it is not the one village or the two villages, it is entire community. This is one of thousands of Indian villages where water is the most precious commodity. According to scientists, in just 15 years, our planet will suffer a global crisis, the most devastating one humankind has ever faced. Everyone will be affected. Jivi is carrying a weak supply of water on her head. This is her share from the tanker. ने <laughs> People living in India's hot and arid regions figured out a way of collecting monsoon waters in specially created pools. They use them until the next rainy season. But the monsoon has been late for the past two years, and all the water was used up a long time ago. There used to be a pond here, but the local farmers have built mounds around their fields to keep the water for themselves rather than let it run into the common reservoir. And so the reservoir, which is used to serve the village all year round, is now only half full. By the time the hottest spring months arrive, it's already dried out. Jivi doesn't have anyone to look after her baby at home, so she takes him to work with her. With other women, she's working on deepening the pond to collect water once it finally rains. They earn 120 rupees a day. They need this money to buy water. 
The villagers have been waiting for over a month for the big rains to come and for free water to start falling from the skies. But all in vain. I think it's kind of heat stroke strike. Yeah. <laughs> You, you keep it. You keep it. Yeah. 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 Sakharam Bhagat's first wife was spending far too much time getting water and she didn't have any energy left to take care of the kids. So he decided to take a second wife. He reasoned that his first wife would be able to mind the children and keep house, while the second would be free to fetch water. But his second wife turned out to be a sickly woman, unfit for water duty, so his plan failed. This is how the third wife appeared on the scene. Every morning, the three wives set out on a water-fetching trip, and it's a lengthy business. The line is long, and it's best to be among the first to show up. These days, Bhagat's wives aren't as quick as they used to be, so they have some queuing to do. <laughs> I'm 
Now that there's water in the house, other chores can be dealt with. From last two years, water situation is very bad. Because of what? Because of snow rain? Because of rainfall is very low. Okay, maybe you can show the man who suffered a lot of because of the crop failed. Ah, he is one farmer. He is Sopan Durat. When he started growing oranges? How many years old? Seven years old. Seven years. Eight years. Eight years. From eight years he is working in this farm. And this first year he went here? This year all trees are gone. बड़े लावला नंतर का सही एक तो पांच वर्षे पीके इतने ले जाते हैं तो समझे कई गेट है इतने ले जाते हैं पांच वर्षे नहीं से ज़्यादा लान ची मोटे करके लेकर आ परमानी भड़ा जाए लगले उनसे ज़्यादा वाड़ू नहीं जाएगी मानुष रोड़ा नहीं तकाय कर नहीं ये कंधे से जोप लगते ये कंधे से उठो उठो बस तरात्री � लांचे मोटे लेकर सरकार पुन चल जब लो अंते समझ गया ले और का सरात आपले मान सतले मान उसका सजा तो दुख कवाट तो सामान्य ज़्यादा तो दुख कवाट लगी। When the rains finally arrived in 2015, they were too scarce to provide the state with water. In 2016, the monsoon season was late again. But of course, this isn't the only problem. The Green Revolution is what they call the agricultural boom enjoyed by India several decades ago. New land was cultivated, new technologies were introduced, river flows were reversed, yielding outstanding crops. But apparently, now it's time to pay back for all this explosive growth, among other things, with shrinking water supplies. Water shortages have become a national catastrophe. नैसर्गी कालचक्र है तेमान सने बदलो ऐसे प्रयत्न के लिए तेला छेदुन पूरा जाए ऐसे प्रयत्न के लिए तेजे मुल्ल आज जी घड़ी घड़ी जाले ले ये लस सरोस्वी मानव जात जवाब दारे अन्य जी ग्लोबल वार्मिंग चाहे जल प्रदूषण आल वायु प्रदूषण आल ऐसे मुल्ल शेर नैसर्गीक सरल ढांचा बिगड़न गया तेजे मोला ये पाउस वेल और पड़त नहीं है, ऊन जास्ता पड़ता है, ऊन ऐसे दिन उसका ठंडी वास्ती है, ये वाले जिन दिन उसका पाउस है तो है। पाउस है जहाँ शोर बसले डोला लोग, कभी पाउस होता हूँ, कभी फिर तो। माला तो आशा बात है, जी सरकार मंत्र ना है, टीवी और टीवी स्तवगा, कहे तो चैनल और दिपोरी बसुन वाटर लगले पैसे आता परिणत हो रहे हैं कट पानी यूँ में दिपोरी बसुन पंडे के तो पर आसली वजह चाटा में बसुन पानी भी कट्टा कोरा ली मिली खले ले पन्नी आने दा पास आ जाए जी टाकली पानी सैंपल सर वाटर टोटल आज तेरे माजूर पन्ना साढ़े दो रुपए कर दे माजूर पन्ना साढ़े दो रुपए कर दे आज साढ़े सत्तर आज दो रुपए मजी कर दे जब आज माजूर आज भरपूर वाइट वाट तो मैं आत्मात्मिक रूप से पढ़े नहीं इस शिशनास सीटेल कोरो जिस बुले वचरा अन्य पाजनाले अदनो
फिफ्टी ये ट्वेंटी अपना थर्टी फोर It's not farmer suicides. It's a rural suicides, which affects the entire rural India, and that is 67 percent of the Indian population. In this part of Punjab, the primary reason is water. Isn't it paradoxical? We have the rivers, we have all the water, but we can't use it ourselves. For many years, Indajit Singh Jaiji has been trying to raise awareness of the suicide epidemic. He talks to the families of the deceased, trying to get to the heart of the matter. The Punjab used to be at the forefront of the nation's agriculture. An irrigation system was built to bring water to the neighboring arid states. As a result, Punjab's water table started to drop, making farming increasingly difficult. Local farmers would go bankrupt, borrow money, and then, as they were unable to pay their debts, they committed suicide. Primary responsibility for the suicide is the loss of the river water to a non-riparian state, Haryana, Delhi, and. Mainly Rajasthan. Relatives of the dead come to this small dam that separates the canal into three branches. They are hoping to find the bodies of their loved ones in the water, at least those who committed suicide by jumping into the canal. और ये वाले जो कैमरे हैं, ये कैमरे उसके लिए जब डेड बॉडी आती है ना, तो एक या दो मिनट यहाँ पे रुकती है जरूर, तो वो यहाँ रिकॉर्ड के अंदर हमारे पास रिकॉर्डिंग में हो जाता है उसका। तो रिकॉर्डिंग में उसका बैकअप डाटा जो होता है ना उसमें देख लेते हैं उसको कि वो बॉडी आगे निकल गई या नहीं निकल गई इन सारा सिस्टम तो इसके अंदर क्या डेड बॉडियाँ मैं रोज अपडेट करता हूँ डेली ये देखो ये जो डेड बॉडी ना मैं इसके अंदर अपडेट करता रहता हूँ उसको सत्तर परसेंट जो होते हैं ना मतलब सेवेंटी जो होते हैं वो होती है खुदकुशी आशु मलिक इज अ ड्राइवर बट ही ओनली रिकवर्स द बॉडी इज ऑफ दोलेटिवस आर रेडी टू पे हिम इट्स अ बिजनेस Ashu doesn't work for the government. If a body isn't identified and there's no one to claim it, he drops it back into the water. Every day, three, four bodies come. They lie scattered. Dogs eat them. They remain in the water. The water is contaminated. The fields are contaminated. The police doesn't take them to the mortuary. The police doesn't remove them from there. The police officer over there was saying zero suicide, no bodies. Didn't the police, the officers over there, no bodies over there? And yet you saw the bodies. So isn't the government hiding the suicides? Today, in one day, for five doors, two here, seven bodies have gone. In one day, and the police says, not even one body a day. Singh has been trying to solve this problem all his life. He has been arrested a number of times. He even had to serve time in jail. However, he hasn't given up and continues to do everything in his power. You can check, just try. Very sweet. No I contamination. Sure, I, I assure you that, say to. Yeah. I, no I, I will be fine. Yeah. Everyone drink this one. It's very sweet. Tasty. Yeah. Be careful. Not fall down. Okay.
One theory is that this land was once a savanna or even a forest. But for many centuries, people exploited the land so badly that the former abundance turned into a barren desert. However, the people didn't quit this waterless, scorched land, but instead adapted to living here. They figured out how to collect rainwater and make the supply last throughout the year. And they lived like this for a long time. But over the last decade, everything has changed. Because human being dependency is divert uh, to the government side. They are not uh, believe they are uh, themselves or uh, their traditional uh, system, old system, wisdom, people, they forget. They are not believing on that. Uh, this is the government uh, work, uh, this is not our job. You know, railway line, uh, through railway, how much water you supply? Paradoxically, the irrigation channels dug under politicians' orders eventually dried up. The water towers built by the government aren't functioning, and only the reservoirs constructed using ancient technologies are still surprisingly in use. This pond uh, belongs to the community. Everyone rises to take water from here. If uh, monsoon late, then people not suffer because they have water. They use for domestic purpose, not for sailing. So people say, this is our water bank. This water is very pure for drinking. We try to check in laboratory. No contamination, no biological, no chemical, any type. You see, this water is very, very clean. You see, you can drink, mm -hmm. no problem. भागीदारी थे ही पानी मिल गया तो धीरे-धीरे खड़ीन बन गए तो अनाज होने लग गया तो खेतों में रहने लग गए तो पहले बड़ी डानी गांव एक ही था तो ये सिंधी पुरा नुआ गांव बस गया एक घर था बिल्कुल अपना आज कम से कम सौ घर उस जगह नहीं तो पहले कच्चे मकान थे आज पक्के भी बन गए पत्थर डाले हुए बना रहे हैं धीरे धीरे This is a worldwide problem. Uh, I was uh, last days, uh, you know, in Africa, Kenya and uh, Malawi. They have a uh, lot of rains uh, uh, twice a year, uh, long spell and short spell, but uh, they also facing crisis. So why not think we about the water? So this is the natural things. Uh, we are uh, going waste uh, water in, uh, without using. Throughout much of its history, humankind got by by using water that fell from the sky. But modern industry requires water for irrigation, cooling, and manufacturing. The demand for fresh water has already exceeded supply. The Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development has estimated that in 15 years, 47% of the world's population will suffer from water shortages. India is one of the first countries to face this water crisis. 